we are at the entrance of the Acropolis. And Emily's fixing her sock. Say something. Around my ankle. The view from up, from up here is spectacular, as you will see in a moment. This is Emily standing at the entrance to the Acropolis. There we are inside, the theater behind us. Behind the theater is the, the city, and then behind that in the horizon in the top right is the GNC. Here we are at the Acropoli, and Emily's taking a picture of a cat. And right behind her is the Parthenon. So, what do you think of that? We're making fun. We're not here just to document old things, we're here to take interesting pictures. And to see old things, but also to take pictures of whatever we find interesting. How old do you think that cat is? Not as old as the Acropolis. was dedicated in 438 BC. That means it's 2,500 years old. Even though it's always under construction, it's, it's a very impressive sight to see. Now we're inside the museum at the Acropolis. And that's a relief from the Parth Parthenon. There's a pomegranate there. These little red flowers that we saw everywhere we went in Greece and Turkey. Somewhere in there is our hotel. We think. The nine horizontal stripes on the Greek flag are highly significant. They represent the nine syllables of the motto of the freedom fighters who fought against Turkish rule in the War of Independence. Freedom or death. Here we are at the entrance of the ancient Agora. This is a photo inside the Stoa of Atalos. And that's outside the Stoa. And we think those are ionic columns. We're standing outside of the temple of Hephaestos, which is part of the ancient Agora complex. Ew, we just I... uh, have been through the Stoa of Atalos and have learned a little bit about Doric and Ionic columns. <laughs> and look at this turtle here. <laughs> He's gonna eat it. Oh. Another view of the Temple of Hephaestos. Very impressive. It's nearly intact. Estiatorio. Alpha beer. How do you say this is my wife? I remember it's in here somewhere. is a very old cemetery. The oldest artifact was from 2500 BC. Which means it's about 5,000 years old, or almost. And these are some artifacts that we saw inside the museum on site. right now in Keramikos and this is one of the oldest cemeteries. Mm -hmm. They found um, bodies here from the Submitean period um, and then, but then it was continually used So some of these stones are up to 3,000 years old, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's just amazing because it is obviously a, a sacred ground with some very, very ancient stone works and um, 
Spirit says the visitor can feel the peace and calm of the place that received the bodies of thousands of Athenians for over 1,500 years and experienced the lamentations of those mourning the loss of loved ones. And as in all the other sites that we've visited, one of the amazing things is that we're right in the middle of a very busy city, mm -hmm. which is Athens, and you can hear in the background back there, the cars and buses. Honking. Okay. Okay, this is the Temple of Zeus. The Olympian Zeus. The Olympian And uh, those are the only columns left from what originally was 20 columns wide and 8 columns, or 20 columns long and 8 columns wide, and it was open in the middle of that. But it had a ceiling, too. You can see at yeah, the top. Yeah, it had a ceiling. Too. So anyway, it's... It was huge, and so those columns over there aren't even all the way to the end. And you can like see a third one possible. that has fallen mm -hmm. recently. Mm -hmm. So, it went all the way, all the way past those few that, are, that remain. Ta-da! The Temple of Olympian Zeus was visible from the Acropolis. That column fell about 150 years ago during a terrible storm, and we just left it. And that is pretty recent compared to the age of the building. Here we are in Didi uh, Square, Athens, and we're just walking down the street where they have a whole bunch of cafes. And look up there. You see that? That's right. <laughs> Even in Greece. Viva Mexico. That was a fatouche salad. It's very good. And we had to try the much acclaimed ouzo. 